So today we are in Denver, Colorado, and I'm buzzing to announce that we are opening our new office. Although we're not actually in Denver because with COVID, we're locked down and we're actually stood in the UK and it's freezing cold. <laughs> Today we are stood outside our Gymshark headquarters which when we first opened it a couple of years ago completely and utterly revolutionised the way that we work as a business. Now I'm hoping we'll be able to do the same in North America because we have opened our Denver office and it looks absolutely incredible. Today I'm going to be telling you all about it, showing you around and talking about our plans for it over the next few years. So it is January 2021 and finally the Gymshark Denver office is finished and it looks absolutely incredible. Going back to when we first flew out to Denver to pick the office and say that we were going ahead with the space that we chose, I had no idea that we would be, we would be in this position. We thought we'd be out there celebrating the launch of the new office. Obviously COVID and 2020 has completely got in the way of that. Bunny wrap scallions! So we are going to be announcing and launching the new office remotely from here in the UK. So funnily enough, everything that happened last year and the US closing the borders actually affected us more than I ever thought would. Myself, Robin and a group of the Gymshark team were going to be actually moving over sort of semi-permanently for what I was envisaging, you know, between one and two years. We were going to move over and live in Denver, launch the office and really embed it and grow the Gymshark team up to a point before coming back to Gymshark headquarters in the year 2022-ish. Obviously, everything got in the way of that and that didn't happen. So what we've had to do is I've canceled my move to the US. The landing team have unfortunately had to cancel their move to the US as well because it's just so difficult to get a visa at the moment. And now we have been continuing with not only the US office build, but the growth of the US team completely remotely. And this is just something that we never thought would happen. And if you'd have asked me two years ago, Will you be hiring 50 plus staff into the US office and building the US team completely remotely without meeting people face to face? I'd have said not a chance. Gymshark is such a culture driven brand, such a culture driven business, and we are so, so focused on our people and making sure that we build not only the best, but the, the right team. And yeah, we've built the team completely remotely. We've built the office completely remotely and it just looks incredible. I'm absolutely buzzing with the office. It is gorgeous. It's actually a step up from what we did at Gymshark HQ. Actually is built in a quite similar way to what we built here in Gymshark LC2 as we are now calling it in the brand office. Yeah, I'm super proud of what we managed to achieve. The property team working alongside the people that we had on the ground in the US, most notably Peter Arch over there who was US employee number one who you'll have seen in the previous video. So yeah, here we are announcing the brand new Gymshark Denver office and our first step in our expansion into North America. So the office itself, again, is absolutely beautiful and it's been built with an aesthetic that pretty much matches what we have here in the UK. And that's really important because similar to what we've done in Hong Kong, it really allows us to have a home away from home and then people that are working in the Denver office can you know, seamlessly jump between the Gymshark offices. And what we really wanted is as soon as you come up in the lift, as soon as those doors open, you know you are in a Gymshark environment. So very similar to what we've done here and what we've done in as you walk into the lifting club and as you walk into the HQ. As you come up and the, the lift doors open, it's quite a dark tunnel-like experience. And then as soon as you get into reception, you'll see the walls will just start to move apart and it will just be flooded with light and that incredible, incredible view out across Denver and then onto the Rockies as well. So as you turn right, you'll come into sort of a catering space, essentially a mini version of refuel and kitchen area. And again, that's incredibly, incredibly beautiful in the sense that a lot of the seating areas overlook, again, the gorgeous views that we've got. Further up, you come into the kitchen area and then the cinema area, which is again, very, very similar to what we've got over the road at Gymshark HQ. And that is where we'll be doing a lot of the company announcements over there and just the wider meetings that include everyone. So then you've got these glass doors which will open up and you will enter the office area. Very similar to what we've got here, open plan and it's brilliant in terms of the way that Gymshark works, which is all around people and very, very collaboratively. On the far wall, you will see the boardroom, which has again, gorgeous, gorgeous views over the Rockies and Denver city center. And then you've got further meeting rooms down the way, which will all be fully kitted out Zoom rooms so that between the international offices, we can have remote meetings very, very easily. The Zoom rooms are really, really well done and I'm really, really happy with that. 
So following them around, again, we have collaborative areas similar to what we have here, curtained off areas, open areas, and a training room as well. Gymshark US is hiring a lot of people. We are building the team out very, very quickly. And that training room is gonna be really important because as you grow in a team so quickly, the onboarding and training experience is so, so vital to making sure that people truly understand the brand's core values, what you do do, what you don't do, and just how everything works at the brand. Because the worst thing that you can do is hire rapidly, bring on a load of people really quickly, and not have them understand the brand and not have them understand how things work in the business. Again, further round into the bottom corner, we have more further brilliant, brilliant views, and we've got a sofa area. So similar to what we've got here, we have sort of single meeting room areas and places where people can go and do a call, what we're calling an idea room. And then we've got several other meeting rooms, which outside of COVID times will sit five, six, seven, eight people as well, which is really useful for, again, being collaborative in the workspace. It's a gorgeous office and I must admit, I am absolutely gutted that I can't be out there. One, just for the experience of launching it and meeting everyone. But two, I know I was absolutely buzzing. I know Robin was and a lot of the team were buzzing to, you know, pack up and move to the US. And just to put things into perspective as to how close we were, like flights were being booked, moving the dog over to the States was all sorted. We were looking at where we were gonna stay and live. So I guess emotionally for us, it was quite difficult in the sense that one minute we were all ready to go and we were absolutely buzzing for it. And literally we were working out where we were gonna live and the next minute it was all canceled. So yeah, I mean, we're having to be flexible and I think one of the things that comes with working at a company like Gymshark where things are growing so quickly is you do get used to change so as soon as we made the decision that we were going out there I was dead set on it and I was buzzing but equally as soon as we had to make the decision to cancel that for the time being I, um, I was just as excited to get more and more involved in the product department here at headquarters. So we've hired 50 people so far into the Gymshark US office and we're going to be doubling that number very, very quickly and we are going to be growing rapidly in the US. The United States and North America in general is a very, very special place for Gymshark. We have a huge, huge fan base out there and some of the most incredible events that we've ever done have happened in North America, namely Toronto, some of the first event that we did in Ohio in Los Angeles, launching Nikki store in New York, Whitney's in LA, and then the events that we've done with Steve at his gym in Utah, and the most recent event that we did in Texas and Houston. We've had some incredible times in the United States and Canada, and I must admit, I am thoroughly, thoroughly missing spending time out there, and some of my you know, closest friends are out there in North America. So, I mean, in terms of my visa as well, I think they're saying there's like a 12 month wait for visas at the moment, which, I mean, I was told not to worry about what you can't control, and unfortunately, I think this is one of those things. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be jumping between the two, probably spending the majority of my time here, and then, you know, as and when I can get out to the States and spend time in Denver, I will be immediately jumping on a plane and doing so as well. But yeah, the office is brilliant. The office is a cultural home for Gymshark, and it's a hub for us to then continue and grow in the United States. Other things I think we should mention is developing and building this office with our property team here, doing everything remote from material sampling to speaking to contractors, making sure that everything was moving on time through the webcams that we had set up there. Our property team here did all of that remote and that was just incredible. So the job that they have done is genuinely groundbreaking. And with that, we've obviously needed brilliant people on the ground and there is none other than Peter Arch, who you'll have seen in my previous video, who has been absolutely incredible. And what I want to as well just take a moment to say is, yes, we have hired people remotely and yes, we've had to develop this office remotely. But the reason that we've been able to do that is because we've had an incredible safe pair of hands and someone that I trust implicitly in Peter Arch on the ground to help manage it. And what Peter is going to do, by the way, is he's going to be in charge of the people function in North America going forward. So at the moment, previously, it's been a little bit more of a sort of entrepreneurial role in getting this thing up off the ground, which again, because of everything that's changed, his role has changed because previously myself and him were going to be out there doing it together because I couldn't and I've moved into this, this chief product officer role. It means that there's been more emphasis on Pete to manage the North American office for the last sort of six or 12 months. He's the reason that we can do this in terms of being so confident in our remote hires and being so confident in developing the office remotely is knowing that he's there on the ground to sense check everything and make sure that this Gymshark office and more importantly culture is being built in the right way. So my advice to anyone that is having to go through this as well and do things remotely, my number one piece of advice would be despite doing things remotely you need to make sure that you have someone there 
on the ground that you do completely and utterly trust implicitly. And I've had actually quite a few messages recently of people asking me about the US office. And a few of those people were asking around, sort of, are we going to continue with that office given everything that's going on and the fact that people are going to be working remotely more than ever. Now, I completely agree and we're seeing huge shifts even happen here in terms of people working remotely and will continue to do so once COVID has passed. However, like I've said, the office is a cultural hub for us and Gymshark is so much about culture. It is so intrinsic and important to both our values and our long-term performance as a brand and as a business that building this office as that temple for culture is so important to us and we are continuing to invest despite everything that's going on in the world because we think in the long term, this is hands down the right thing to do. So at Gymshark, we always try and focus on the long term over the short term. And like I said, building a brilliant cultural hub in this office is gonna just pay dividends down the road, we think, to the Gymshark brand and business. So that is Gymshark Denver. It's a hugely, hugely exciting time and we are growing the team over there very, very quickly. So if anyone is interested, then please check out our LinkedIn or our careers page on our website, careers.gymshark.com. We're also growing rapidly here in the UK, in Mauritius and in Hong Kong. So Gymshark globally is growing rapidly. So anyone that is interested, please check out the careers site. I hope you like the office as much as we do. I'm buzzing to get out there. I'm sure when we can finally get out there, we will record an in-person video as well and give you a little bit more of an in-depth tour. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that supports us, particularly everyone in the United States and North America at the moment. I hope everyone is doing well through COVID. I know it's incredibly, incredibly tough, but we need to be prioritizing both our mental and our physical health at a time like this. If there's anything else that you want to see us record video wise, comment down below. We'll be reading every single comment and we'll definitely have a look at getting it recorded.